Ancient Indian political thought religious fundamentalism and religious nationalism are more appropriately applicable to religiously singular societies as in European Christian or West Asian Islamic societies. In Christian Europe, religious nationalism is weaker in the periphery where national identity was more secure and less aggressive. Where the origin myths of the nation which connected to religion e.g. Anglican Protestantism in the UK are old and unions of nation and religion more relaxed, when external threat is not strong, then religious consciousness generally as well as its relationship to nationalism are stronger e.g. Greece, Poland, Belgium, Croatia there also exist significant countervailing forces in the shape of the earlier institutionalization of secular democratic discourse religion is the system of theological beliefs and dogmas it is also a vital basis for identity formation religion is the moral force which gives strength to a person or to a nation politics is the art of governance if politics is the last refuge of scoundrels and religion the opium of the masses any nexus between the two is bound to spell doom Religion is the root of the most of the profound and permanent values of life while politics is about recognition and conciliation of opposing religion. This was the sole reason of introduction of secularism in Indian constitution. The liberal democratic vision of secularism is generally seen as characterized by three principles: one, liberty and freedom of religion to citizenship and the right to equality and non-discrimination and three, neutrality in the separation of state and religion. The first two principles have posed little controversy in the Indian context. Rather, the right to freedom of religion and the right to equality and non-discrimination are generally recognized as important constitutional values in their own right as well as a foundation of Indian secularism. The third principle, i.e., relation between religion and politics, is the main cause of problem. To understand the relation between religion and politics, it is necessary to understand the concepts of toleration and secularism, communalism.